Hello everyone. This is a touch mix from a customer. Already took it apart. Maybe did some work on it. So it sent apart like this. But there is all the the parts include in the package. The screen, the charger. I did see some screws. Yeah, it may have some missing screws. Let's see what is uh, the problem. So quick check here. You can see some sign of the liquid damage right there, right here, and right here. Okay, that's what the customer said. So the unit has uh, no input, and when he took it apart, he damaged the cable, the flat cable, that screen. So let's see. This is the screen connector. Oh, he damaged this part here. That small connector. Okay, let's see. The big thing is the the damage here on the screen. I don't see the damage here on the screen. There is a damage. I know the cable right here. See the cable is completely damaged. So this is what happened when someone tried to repair stuff by it. So usually it uh, could be a simple issue, then now we are facing more problems. I did see a burned component right here. I don't know that's a regulator or what is this. And look like someone replaced the capacitors. Yep, that's what happened. Yeah, that's a burned component. Before we can plug in it to the power, we need to check the shirt. Look like that's the output. Yeah, there is a shirt to here. And maybe this is the input. And we have a burned resistor. And you can see this trace. Yep, this resistor is 100. This is a 10 ohm resistor. Or I need to remove that component. It's 2540, N2540. It was a number here, but it's gone. Or let's see, is there any more shirt? No more shirt. Yeah, that's the charger plug. And this uh, little boot is being added by the QSC. That's a modification that QSC did. And they did check the part number for this uh, component, and 2540, and it show was a transistor, fast switching transistor, NPN transistor, this one. So no matter what, this is a shirt, and we're gonna need a replacement for it. Next, we are gonna clean up this corrosion. A little bit crowded, but it looks like the components still good. So that one is a 10 kilo ohm, the resistor. 
Okay, let's see what that resistor is. Mega over there. See here, 10 kilo ohm. But here, 10 kilo ohm. Yeah, we have 10 kilo ohm. Okay, no shirt. This is look like a signal capacitor. No shirt. We have another uh, corrosion right there. So, 10 kilo ohms still good. No shirt here. Okay, so there is a little trace over there, so good. We have more corrosion right here. Okay, let's check this capacitor. Oh, that's a shirt. See that? This is a shirt. 
That's good. We find a shirt. That's good. Okay, let's remove that capacitor. I'll check there. No more shirts. Yeah, the pet's still good here. This one should be a 10 kilo ohm, that's good. Any shirt here? No, it's not shirt. 3 kilo ohm. Mega ohm. Mega ohm. Or maybe because the chip is warm, it could be. So let's reflow this area with the flux that's gonna take care of the corrosion and yep, we still have the pad over there. Ready flow over there. Let's reflow right here. Or right, that's the cable. And it's look like it's is missing three. So maybe we need just to solder it over there. I'm going to use a low melt so we don't put a lot of heat to the connector. Let's test uh, the touch mix uh, sound. Already plug it to the amplifier and 
plug it to the microphone so we are in the input one yeah there is no sound I don't see no signal here okay let's go to the input two this may be a bad input no it doesn't work input three no the four can be all of them are bad input five nothing input eleven Yeah, no sound. So still have the problem here in the touch mix. And I uh, already ordered that uh, transistor. And we're gonna replace that burnet resistor. Okay, I have a thousand one zero zero over there. So it's a uh, hundred ohm, basically. No channel. ohm. It's a hundred ohm. Let's use the solder iron, two solder irons as a tweezer. This side is good. We change this is a transistor. So, so we change this transistor now. We check this trace to I think maybe it's going to this resistor. It's good. So even if this burned mark, but the trace is still good. The trace to here, to here is good. I think we did check these diodes. I'll check them again. The diode is good. Keep on one. Point five. Hmm. Point one, point five. So we need to check that diode and check it out. One five point one. Hmm. Okay, so there is no more shirt, but we still have to take these uh, diodes. Well, let's see. Oh, 
0.5 and let's flip it open so that diode is good this one open one one so these two diodes are okay yeah it could be that's a normal reading So let us sit now after we install the burnet component. I hear some noise. Yep, there is a sound. Yep, there is a signal. Test, 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 one, two, three. Yep, it works. Yep, there is a signal too. I'm going to test all of them. And number 12, number 16, the main left, and let's test the main right. Test, yep. This, this, this work. Alright, so everything it works. I just have to put it all together and send it back to the customer. This is all for this video and see you again.